we just go over there and blaze up over there. I just tell where we go over there, dog. Check tall his then, crony. And how much? A two people? A man and a woman? Yeah, a man and a woman, replied check. Me did want a link from him, from when him can shout me still. In the lunchtime, he'll school me a go pan the camp, Robin just said. But seven them time there, a good time. Him de on the road, man. The witness shared in the cell phone conversation. People, this was a conversation with the with the witness and the soldier man, who was a body who was a bodyguard for black man. They was having a conversation, so that was released in court. People, so just please like up the video, subscribe to the channel, and watch the full video. Please and thanks. A former gang member testified on Monday that reputed leader of the One Don faction of the Klansman gang, Andre, Blackman, Brian, ordered another gang member to carry out a murder in 2019 while Blackman was behind bars. The assertion was made during the playing of cell phone conversations of the gangsters which were secretly recorded by the former gangster turned state witness. According to the witness, a gang member who he identified by his alias, Razim was instructed to carry out the hit to gain Brian's trust. The man known as Razim and another man were later shot and killed during an alleged shootout with the police on January 25, 2019. When asked by prosecutors how he knew Brian had gave Razim instructions to carry out a murder, the witness said Brian issued the order during a cell phone conversation. The witness, a self-styled former Don, said defendant Jaziel, squeeze I. Blake was the one who allegedly drove the intended getaway car when the hit was to have been carried out. The former gangster testified that on the day in question, he was driving behind Blake's vehicle. He, the witness, said the vehicle he was driving belonged to Stephanie Christie, alias, Mama, an alleged main operative in the gang and a St. Thomas pastor. However, presiding judge, Chief Justice Brian Sykes, objected, insisting that prosecutors play only the sections of the recordings which demonstrated that the defendants are linked to the criminal organization. The prosecutors conceded to the ruling, and went on to play a conversation between an alleged gangster called, Czech, and the former gangster turned crown witness. The witness told the court that the conversation followed a WhatsApp call that was made between him and Robinson. However, it was said that the recording software could not record the earlier WhatsApp call between himself and the then soldier. He explained that the cell phone conversation was centered around Robinson's desire to speak with Brian, who was in custody at that time. He also claimed that when Robinson indicated that he was at school, it meant that he was attending classes at the JDF camp. In response to the testimony and recordings, Sykes said there was no mention of Brian's name in the audio. Based on that, the judge said there was no evidence to suggest that the conversation was about Brian. The witness, however, claimed that both himself and Robinson were discussing Brian on a WhatsApp call, but the call recording software could not record the initial conversation.